Hello y'all, this is Hearts of Azeroth, a Hearts of Iron 4 mod that seeks to bring the Total Warcraft universe of Warcraft RTS and World of Warcraft MMORPG fame into Hoi 4. We have a few different starting date bookmarks here and they are the First War, the Second War, the Invasion of Draenor, the Third War, Old Hatreds, and the Shattering. I'm just going to worry about the first one, the First War, and I believe this takes place during the time of the first Warcraft real-time strategy game. And we have like seven different notable countries here, and they are the Kingdom of Stormwind, the Black Rock Clan, the Shadow Council, the Bleeding Hollow Clan, the Frostwolf Clan, the Twilight's Hammer Clan, the Kingdom of Kazmodan, and the Bog Beast. The reason why I'm solely worried about this bookmark alone is because we have a lot of ground to cover as is, and I am playing this modification on the Battle for Bosporus version of Hoi 4 because it was last updated as a recording in 2020. However, this is like a legacy version. I believe the team who worked on this, or at least a dev team in general, is working on a new beta, but it more covers Kalimdor, which is this land mass over here, and it doesn't really have Azeroth in it too much as of this time. I mean, I think it's there, but you can't play as any of the nations there. Let's cover some of the features in this mod. So first off, we have a new, I mean, we have new ideologies and they are Alliance, Horde, Death, Fell, Old Gods, Titans, and Neutral. Then we have a religion system and a government, a government system it looks like. I'm not sure what this does, but it has different buffs. So Stormwind, for example, is a kingdom. We have tech groups and we have modern nation. I wonder. If, I guess that's the only one. We have what else? The light is our religion. There's there's multiple different religions. There's the loon, necromancy, the wild gods, the arcane, the makers, then the lights. Well, the light, shamanism, no religion, the void, and the lowest spirits and Maxwell Roberts. I think Roberts is just a bug. We have race. We have racial management. There are different races. In this world, you have primary races and secondary races, and primary race is like the main core race of your country in Warcraft, well, in Hearts of Azeroth. Warcraft, in general, as a world, has a lot of different species and peoples, and each province, it looks like, or at least different states, have their own different dominant races. The majority of the state's population, yeah, that's what it is. So, for example, this place here in the Dead Men's Crossing has... Humans then say to the south, you got thing, you got people like the jungle trolls. So the jungle trolls are their own race, for example. And let's move on now to technologies and just see the research tree. This mod does redo the research tree overall and changes some tech around. We got basic swords, you can research swords, pikes, bows for infantry, then there is rangers and infantry drills, lanterns. I guess. Oh, that helps with attacking at night. Looking at heroic units now, which replace support companies, we have heroic infantry, heroic cavalry, heroic casters, and spell casters. And we have stuff like just basic support equipment, and that comes in the form of healers, captains, not sure what they do, scouts, and guards. Then for cavalry, which is we have no tanks. We have different mounts. There's elite lancers, elite mounts overall, and that's for like scout cavalry, light lancers, and mounted archers. We have knight technology for mounts. Siege weapons are their own thing. We got catapults here. Then there is experimental. There's steam tanks. All right. Land doctrine is about the same. It looks about, yeah, vanilla hoi four like. Naval's a little different, kind of. Naval Doctrine doesn't really exist. Air, there is Gyrocopters, Griffin Riders, Zeppelins, those are things in this mod. And the Air Doctrine seem about vanilla. Administration's a little different, definitely. Well, that's Engineering. Engineering's now Administration. Then we have, well, Nukes are still here. It's called Mana Bombs, though. Industry is kind of different as well. And at this point, let's move to our infantry and just look at them. And there are different unit types. 
in this mod, which is not surprising considering what we saw in the tech tree. So there's like footmen, pikemen, stormwind rangers, there is catapults, they are artillery, knights are their own thing, as well as scout cavalry, and so are sailors, which replace, they replace the marines, I guess, and let's just see a little model here, it's been redone, and this guy is wearing stormwind colors, he's wearing a stall helm, and wielding a crossbow, which is nice touch overall, I will say, I like mods that redo the imagery quite a bit. It's a nice little thing that can be done in Hoi 4. I'm going to start going over every country in the world now, and I'm going to be as fast as possible here and just generally give their name, the continent they're on, and their race if possible. So let's begin in Northrend, and here we have the Green Dragonflight, and they are, they are in a faction called the Warm West Accord, and also on Dragonflight is only a couple other places, I think. There is the Naz Jatar Empire and the Blue Dragonflight, who are part of that Warm Rest Accord. And Northrend, that's basically covered since I don't I don't believe it's really complete. Then we have Kalimdor. And here there is the Dustwind Tribe, their Harpies, Witchwing Tribe, Harpies, Razor Main Tribe, Quillbores, Bloodhoof Tribe, Torin, Kokar Clan, Psych well they're Centaurs. The Bristleback Tribe, there's the Meyer Finn Tribe. What race is that? I don't know what they are. They are Murlocs, or I don't know what they are. There's the Naz Jatar Empire on the coast of Kalimdor. Then there is the Grim Totem Tribe. Just forget the races. I'm just going to go over to countries. There's so many tribes in Kalimdor. We have the Razor Finn Tribe, the Black Dragonflight led by Deathwing, who's an antagonist in Warcraft. Well, in World of Warcraft, more accurately. There's the Wind Fury Tribe. The Wildman Tribe, the Eagle Talon Tribe, the Dawn Strider Tribe, the Thunderhorn Tribe, the Palemane Tribe, and they are what are they? They are Knolls. There is now the Winterhoof Tribe, the Hawkwind Tribe. I already listed the Bristleback. There is the Razorfin Tribe, the Grim Totem Tribe, the Galak the Galak Tribe. They're Centaurs, and there is the Faraki Tribe, and they are Sand Trolls. Yes. Then we have, well, going more over toward Azeroth, we have some islands here. We have the Umlaut tribe, and here's Kazan. This is like the homeland of goblins in Warcraft. It appears first in War of Warcraft, I think. And here there is the Bilgewater Cartel, the Tinker's Union, the Venture Company, I guess, the Venture Co., and the Steam Weedle Cartel, who has a puppet, and it is the Blackwater Raiders. Okay, then we got the Zandalari Empire. This is Zandalar, I guess. And this is Pandera, and there's just kind of there. Continuing more toward like the Eastern Kingdoms now, we have the States of the Broken Isles. There is the Stonefin Tribe, and the Broken Isles appeared in World of Warcraft Legion, which was an expansion. It is an expansion for World of Warcraft. Here's the Falderai, the Sormar, well, Sormar City, the Withered, the Moonguard, the Drakkajir, the Drakkajir, the Drakkajar, the Nazajatar Empire, the Storm Dragonflight, the Tide Scorn Clan, yeah, they're called the Tide Scorn Clan, and the Valkyria, there is the Valorjar, we got the Bone Speakers, and Helheim. And let's get more to the south now. Actually, no, let's cover Outland. I think this is Outland, which is like Draenor. Or maybe it's alternate Draenor, I don't know. Draenor is the planet or the world where the orcs are from, I believe, in Warcraft. But it got ruined or something and they came to Azeroth and kind of started the events of the first war. I'm probably oversimplifying that greatly, but I believe that's how the war goes. And here there is the Warsong clan, the Warmall clan, Galadar. Then there is the Broken. There's so many places here. The Gordani clan. The Boulder Fist Clan, the Red Walker Clan, Angarosh Clan, the Cabal, lots of orcs and ogres here. The Okanai, the Sathahek, the Bladewind Clan, the Draenei Exiles, Shattered Hand Clan, Skethis, this is the Shadow Moon Clan, the Bone Shure Clan, the Warsong Clan, the Mock Nathal, who's this? The Stonemaul Clan, the Lightning Blades Clan. 
the Laughing Skull Clan, the Gron, who else is here? The Thunderlord Clan, the Blade Spire Clan, the Blood Maul Clan, Ogre. We have the Laughing Skull Clan. Is that all of this area? I believe it is. There's the Lightning Blade Clan. They have the Thunderlord Clan as their puppet. And Draenor, or the Outline, I believe, appeared in the Warcraft World of Warcraft expansion, Burning Crusade, or at least Warlords of Draenor, maybe, if this is the alternate Draenor, perhaps. Not sure if it is or not. Then we have Azeroth itself, the continent, and this is where a lot of human kingdoms are. We'll start from the north. This is an Elvish state. This is the High Elves. They are the Kingdom of Quel'Theres. And this is before the Scourge appeared in, like, Warcraft 3. And before that sort of took over to the northern part of Azeroth, there's the Shadow Pine Clan, the Amani tribe, and they have the Moss Flayer tribe and the Shadow Spine tribe as their puppets. They are forest trolls, yes. We have the big Kingdom of Lordaeron. It's a human state. There's the Kingdom of Altharak, the Kingdom of Dalaran, which is for, like, mages and just magic people, the Kingdom of Gilneas. And I believe this is well before the Alliance was formed. In the lore, there's the Keepers of Ceridane, and they are part of the Warm Wrist Accord. There's Airy Peak. We got the Vile Branch Tribe, the Kingdom of Stromgard. What else? There is the Wither Bark Tribe, the Storm Pike Clan, the Kingdom of Kal Tiris. There is now the Dwarven Territory, the Kingdom of Kazmodan, the Red Dragonflight, who leads the Warm Wrest Accord, I think. Then there is the Kingdom of Northeron, which is guaranteed their independence by Kazmodan. It's a dwarven state. We got Nomergon, that's the land of the gnomes. We're almost like in the center part of Azeroth, the continent at this the continent at this point, there is the Frost Main tribe. They are Frost Trolls, well Ice Trolls more accurately. There is the Force of Ragnaros, and they are a puppet of the Dark Iron Clan. Also, they're a dwarven state. We're getting more into Southern Azeroth. Now we have the Kingdom of Stormwind. There is the Elwyn Kobolds, the Red Ridge Pack, the Keepers of the Twilight. They're dragons and they're part of the Warm Rest Accord. There's the River Paul Pack. And going furthest to the south now, there is the Bleeding Hollow Clan. They're part of the Orcish Horde, which is led by the Black Rock Clan. And then we have the Hakari Tribe. Who else? There is the Atha Hakari Guardians, the Dragon Maul Clan, the Marsh Tide Tribe, the Black Rock Clan, the Bog Beast, the Guardian of Tiris Fall, and this is Medib's territory. And Medib is a very powerful character in Warcraft lore. The Shadow Council is here, the Black Tooth Grin Clan. Very interesting flags for all these states. We have the Burning Blade Cult, the, Twilight's, the Twilight Hammers Clan. The Frost Wolf Clan, and we're getting more. Let's we're getting more into the southern part of Azeroth. This is the Gorbashi tribe. They're trolls. They are jungle trolls. We have the Blood Scalp tribe, the Skull Splitter tribe, the Blackwater Raiders, the Bloodfin tribe, and the Lapatis tribe. And they are jungle trolls, I believe. Yes, yes, they are. And with that, this has been Hearts of Azeroth. If you like this mod, you can check it out in the video description. The link to it is there. What do you think of it? Tell me in the comment section below. And after you do that, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And ring the bell for notifications.